Masks are still optional, but more cities are now recommending them as the triple-demic of flu, COVID, and RSV ramps up. Alexis McAdams has more. With the holiday season now in full swing, that triple-demic doctors have warned about for weeks, hitting the country hard. Cases of flu, COVID, and RSV overwhelming healthcare systems once again. Right now, the flu is the biggest concern across the country. Every state except Alaska has moderate to high numbers of cases. And the CDC says at least 15 million people have been infected so far this winter, with 9,000 deaths reported, a big uptick from last year. Most doctors say they don't expect the situation to start improving till after the holiday season. RSV is already on its way down. We usually see young children all get it by now, and now they have. I think flu will peak in January, be on its way down, and COVID also. Here in New York City, masks are still optional, but with infections spiking, the health department has issued a new mask advisory, urging folks to mask up, but not everyone is on board. I think I'm done with wearing masks because we've had been doing it for three years, and uh, I think most of us are vaccinated. Meanwhile, lawmakers on Capitol Hill are calling on the FDA to do something about the shortages of children's Tylenol and other flu medicines, including ramping up domestic production or increasing drug imports. Ask anyone who has kids or grandkids, and they'll know that this is happening. These shortages are temporary. They're supply chain ch temp uh, shortages, but we need to alleviate them. It's not just here in New York. Other big cities like Los Angeles have recommended that people mask up, but they've stopped short of a mask mandate. Reporting in New York City, I'm Alexis McAdams, Fox News.